And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube for the return of Stand Alone Midrange. Um, this deck's fun to play. It's not real easy to play. You have you don't have much uh, room for error at all, as we talked about the last time playing it. Um, but it's very powerful, and your best hands are going to be beating basically any other deck's best hands. What the deck's all about is it's about playing one really big ally and using standalone to uh, you know to just you know make it a lot bigger and kill your opponent with just like the one huge ally. So standalone is the most important card in our opening hand whenever we're mulliganing. We really want standalone, and then after that. We either want Zed or Fiora, um, preferably one of our two champions, because those are both uh, turn three. You play Fiora or you play Zed, and then you stand alone it, and then they are incredible. Like Fiora being a, a six six is incredible, and Zed a six five, both of them. So that's that's kind of like the the goal of the deck, and then uh, we use a bunch of protection spells, you know, like barriers and twin disciplines and repose and all all that kind of stuff. We even have one mana protection spells with like chain vest, health potion, radiant strike, those kind of things. And then we get our extra attacks with a relentless pursuit. Uh, we get rid of the decks that are going wide with our judgment. And uh, yeah, just kind of beat them down with Zed and Fiora. All right. Uh, we have some, you know, we don't always have those things. So we have our, our secondary creatures of Shadow Assassin, Solitary Monk. Um, Blade Keeper makes our first ones bigger also. But that's what our deck's all about. Fun one to play, very powerful one, but definitely a tricky one to play. One well, you gotta be thinking and gotta be planning ahead. I think the last time that I played it, I didn't do the best job at that. And so we're going to hopefully do a better job at that here. All right, in our first game, Against Draven Ezreal. So against Draven Ezreal, the thing that's going to be a huge problem for us is if they have Noxian, Noxian Guillotine. That's the card I don't want to see. Maybe I just keep these threats against them. Maybe we just like lead with Solitary Monk, and then Zed Blade Keeper, or we Blade Keeper this. Yeah, maybe we just keep all these. It's no standalone, but honestly, against a deck that's using a bunch of removal like this and everything, maybe it's better to have multiple threats. Let none disturb my meditation. One tough solitary monk. I need no weapon. Um, does this work? I've seen this works. go and so they don't even get a target with that noxion guillotine nice All right, so if I if I shadow shift this thing, do they do these still target the new thing? I'm I'm not exactly sure honestly. I don't think so though. I think this works. 
I'm honestly not sure if this is gonna work or not. Okay, it works. Okay, good. If it's Draven time, then it's Zed time also. In the darkness. Fast as wind, light as air. All down. We go as one. I can't block my six power. Hey, buddy, what you doing? So we can, uh, I can go for lethal with like deny and, and like the, the plus on the twin disciplines, but we probably don't need to. Let's, let's pump this one up and deny this one. You know, basically, I could I could deny the mystic shots and give like this thing plus three plus zero. And go for lethal. But if they have another mystic shot, then kinda out the window. But yeah, that, that elusive, you know, the that being a six five tough elusive, like tough is really difficult for that Ezreal deck to deal with for sure. Especially that one, not the the Karma one has the bounce spell. Alright, we are going to Mulligan. I mean Thresh Elise is gonna be a go wide deck. I could see keeping the judgment. Let's do that. Let's keep the judgment. Ugh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say we kinda need to find a unit though we need we need some kind of ally I pull the string. it would be the best to draw Fiora and be able to pair Fiora with the judgment Alright, Solitary Monk. You're all we got. We're gonna have to be real careful with this thing. I mean, I can just do that right now. I mean, normally you can just untap and do it like after you untap. But right now, I, I don't think it doesn't matter with, with them having just the two mana. I need no weapon. All right. Well, we can only save three mana for next turn, and we have four. So in that vein, I will use the one mana to give this thing tough right now. Since we can only save one extra mana. Or, like, since we can't save that mana. So we do have the ability to cast Judgment. They can have Vengeance, that would blow that out. If I like just block one of these things, like just block Elise. 
Uh, then we're going down to five, and we're gonna have to try to judgment the next turn anyway. Unless we draw a rally. If we had a rally, we wouldn't need to judgment. We'd have like the deny and everything. We'd be we'd be fine if we had rally. If I must. This is either this is either we lose or we have a good chance of winning. It's not like we just win automatically because you know they can still have other stuff. I'm hoping this is glimpse beyond. I don't like that they just draw four cards, but that's not them breaking this up. Okay. So we don't lose. We now have a, a good chance of winning. But it's certainly not over. We haven't we haven't just won yet either. Strike hard. Now we're in the position where I can where I believe I can keep deny available. I can you know keep deny available for a ruination or a vengeance. I don't need to play Zed. And if something happens to this, then we'll have the Zed on for backup. So there we go. Deny on Ruination. Called it. And what do they got? I wanted to draw another deny for protection against vengeance, but all right, sweet. See, all you need is the one ally and just protect it and you're good. That's the deck's all about. It's a very, very powerful one. But you gotta kind of play it slow and really think about all your decisions. Ooh, this can be a tough matchup. So we got Kinku Elusives. This, this may be a tough matchup. Uh, definitely get rid of Deny, and I guess we'll keep Fiora Barrier. Love this deck blade? Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Because Kinku Elusives plays a lot of Will of Ionia. And that's a different... I mean, I guess I only have Deny as my only answer to Will of Ionia, and I just sent the Denies away. But that's basically all we are, we can deny as Will of Ionia. Judgment can be a huge a blowout for us. Potentially. But they can also make their creatures bigger than mine. Yeah, I was going for the, the big Fiora. We didn't find like a standalone or anything. We got just we just got this barrier. Um, so do I want to lead with Fiora or lead with Zed? I kind of want to lead with Zed. Like, what if I attack with, like, play Zed, attack, and then play Rally, attack again? It's a lot of damage. Hey, Alex, I'm doing good. Or, you know, Fiora, try to steal the Conspirator. I think I actually kind of want to go Zed. Because 
all that sneaky. Of course, could have used the prismatic barrier, but then it would not have killed their thing. I mean, they, their omen hawk would have been dead, and not the other thing. It's a lot of one ones. It's a lot of one ones for for Fiora to kill. They can't be making that attack. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the the update was. It was just right now. What's up, Dishwala? I don't, I don't really know anything about an update. It's three four is really annoying. Seven seven jewel protector. Speaking of really annoying. We have two kills with Fiora. Ooh, Repose is nice. I think it only costs one mana. A one mana, seven, six elusive. They cannot strike what they cannot see. How is this even fair? Like, all right, so if I judge, the problem with playing Judgment is if this card is Elixir of Iron, then uh, they can Elixir of Iron one of these things, and I don't, and then, like, my Fiora dies, and I don't win. And strike. So that's the problem with uh, going with, um, going with the Judgment. But instead, I can do this, and now single combat these. And even if, even if this last card is Elixir of Iron, they're dead. All right, and there we go. The Oracle. Like a game that doesn't look like we have any business winning. GG's 3-0. 
Right? Like, it, it didn't seem like we had, like, any business winning that game. Uh, if you just kind of look at, you know, like, we're at 3, they're at 20. They have all those, you know, 7-7s seven and stuff. But we have Fiora. She's a champion for a reason. She's a champ for a reason. All right, no champions with these. Probably the Undying. Probably. No, I don't want the Solitary Monk. I want like a standalone. I want things that protect. Deny's fine. I need things that protect Fiora. Like, there's basically two ways that my opponent's deck could play out. They could either be playing like an Undying Sacrifice deck, or they could be playing like Karina Control, but you know they're not playing Elise to give anything away. And how they haven't done anything yet, it looks like maybe Karina Control, which is worse for me. Like the Fiora Judgment is good against a creature deck, and that's what I kept my hand towards. This isn't a great thing to challenge her with Fiora, because then you're already priced you're priced into using a protecting spell first. Hmm. I want a Fiora challenge those O ones. Tread lightly, strike hard. This will make them do the easy blocks was the easy block, but make him do it. No if I cast an eye next turn, I'll have five mana, so I won't be able to play Fiora with Twin Disciplines. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, the the pets are are like cosmetics that you can that you can purchase. Yeah, the Griffin's really cool. You start off with a Poro. You get the Poro's free, and then there's like a another Poro that if you create an account and sign and sign in um, during the beta here, you you get another one. So they just immediately passed. But then, then the other ones are ones you purchase. And then, like, this is the board that you start with. And, like, uh, so I, I purchased this. This is the Demacia board. You can you can uh, purchase different boards. And then each board has different musics. So, like, we're listening to, like, the Demacia music. Yeah, the shark's cool too. Then you can pet him. Oh, my phone's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. I have Deny for one Ruination, which was pretty obvious that that's what they were planning on. The problem is if they have a second Ruination, I just went all in. The 
this block's here, this block's here. They take nine. Is there any upside to blocking with this blade keeper? Not really. Or attacking with the blade keeper. I guess so. I mean, they're taking nine with that attack, and Zed's not going to level up. It's like maybe I like it's pretty obvious they're gonna be playing Ruination anyway. Like that was something I could definitely see coming. Maybe I don't play Fiora in case they have a second Ruination. Because if they have the second Ruination, which is not likely at all, like they probably play Like, there's a good chance they only have one Ruination in their deck. But if not, they maybe have a second. I doubt they have three, but um, they do have a Ruination. This is going to be really bad. Alright, cool. Not Ruination. Good job, Birdie. Course, damage happens left to right, so they're at eight. So even though this thing's like gains three life, it doesn't matter because we'll have ten damage first. So they'll go down to to negative two before this thing would gain life. And if you go to negatives, you die. So that's why I have Fiora pulling this to, way over to the right. Huh. They would rather try to kill the 4-2 than a 5-3? That doesn't make much sense. I mean, we got we have protection, so we're we're pretty good. So they're, what they're trying to do is atrocity their thing to kill my Zed and also gain life. No, it, I don't think they gained the life. Strike without worry. They will no match. All right, four four now. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, you're right. The 5-3 the Zed has toughness. That's right. So to have that kill the 5-3, they'd have to kill the ephemeral 5-3. Not the, not the original Zed. Which, I don't know, maybe they need to try to do that anyway. To save the life, that life there, but... All right. And then this is a tough matchup. Mostly because the the Ionia spells make this really tough. Draven Draven Ezreal is a much better matchup for us than Karma Ezreal. And honestly, Zed would be a lot better than Fiora for this kind of matchup for us. We don't really need judgment. But Will of Ionia, getting rid of standalone isn't good. Ooh, we, get, we found Deny. Okay, that's good. You must die. You name it, I'll make it. I don't get into that battle yet. Hey, QQ! Thank you. I think you dropped this. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers. Oh, 
All right, so again, we would lose that mana. So we're going to heal Fiora. Because now, now I don't have to worry about Will of Ionia, so I don't have to have Deny mana. So I need to keep Deny for Will of Ionia. And then we use Twin Disciplines and Repost for other stuff. Um, can only cast two things. So if they can cast three with their eight mana, like if they have if they have Mystic Shot, get excited, get excited, for example. If they have will plus deny, that will deny me a win. The health potion has been pretty clutch though today. Alright, that's not good. Basically, just don't want to see Will of Ionia right now. Ooh, I like it. I like having another deny. Hey, say moi. Hope you're doing good today. I probably shouldn't even be passing right now. I should probably just use the Twin Disciplines as like a plus zero, plus three, and just get the, the toughness back since we're losing. So it's, we just lost a lot of mana. I probably should just turn this into a seven, six. I don't know why they even target Fiora. Why, like, they should just target me. Targeting the Fiora does nothing. But so, basically, this is kill your two one elusive draw card. Maybe we just have to let that happen. Master. Oh right, they're targeting it for Ezreal. Duh. Never mind. Never mind for Ezreal. Never mind. Yeah, that's that's why they target the Fiora. So just use some of that mana. Guarded Shadow Assassin and Ezreal. Those are the 
Those are the worst two cards in their hand. Shadow Assassin and Ezreal. Those are some good cards. Especially if those are the worst in their hand. Those are some good ones. We're pretty close to winning this. We either need to hit them twice or hit or kill two things. Should have rallied at the end of their last turn. It's a bit, yeah. The answer lies within. Ioni speaks through me. Kind of need that. They need the karma to be able to turn all their their removal spells into double. So I, pro I probably like that's why I probably should have rallied the, the end of their last turn was to to try to be more aggressive and finish the game before we got to ten mana so that we couldn't they couldn't just play karma at ten mana. Like, a Will of Ionia here is brutal now. Like, it's doubled up. This is so brutal now. I should have done this at the end of, at the end of their turn 8. So brutal. Ten mana. can go for the game win, but if they have anything, I, I lose basically on the spot. But I could go for the game win of Judgment plus single combat. They, they obviously have stuff. They haven't been playing anything, so that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. Um, have this, strike this. I can't, I can't double deny the will of Ionia's. Man, I need to, I need to go for that rally on turn eight.
Unfortunately, the Fiora's are reset. Face your fate. Always two steps ahead. But one Karma's out of here. Twelve mana, so this would be three, then six, ten. So I'd only have two mana left. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have anything else to protect the Shadow Assassin except for it having a barrier. I suppose if I want to go for Shadow Assassin Lethal. Hey boot, came in right in the middle of an intense game a very difficult intense game let them eat so try go to and strike guess i'm just going to do this So we traded two for two. What you looking for? The order rewards its faithful. to play that rally earlier. Tough game. Tough game. Level up karma. Too good at getting double will of Ionia. Can I win next turn with this? Let's see, they're at six. Use another protection spell. I kind of don't want to play the Blade Keeper because I'm worried about playing the Blade Keeper than they play some other stuff. I kind of want them to waste all this mana. Um, but the Blade Keeper does help me out. The finest blades for my lord. I need only one to win. I would love for them just to pass back again. I kind of didn't want to play the Blade Keeper, and I would untap. I would burst speed. Yes, I'd burst speed the Zed, make it a six-two. 
Oh, lava, we drew a barrier. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no, we're one short of playing all this stuff, though. I will play my part. Strike quickly or go. All right, so we have the two denies available. Could go for the judgment kill depending on what they do. Oh, why can't we have one more mana and have judgment with barrier? Um, judgment kill probably doesn't work, right? Nah, probably doesn't. Let's just go deny. Man, this has been a crazy game. Judgment kill, of course, means putting the judgment on the Fiora to try to kill all four of their their things and win the game with Fiora. This would do five damage to me. Probably means I need to deny it, but what they discard, uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know, but. Alright, Ezreal's out of here. They're down to two. We're so close. I don't like this. I mean, they have another Ezreal. We've gone through two Ezreals. There's only one more left in their deck. Shadow Assassin was nice. That was a good draw. Perfect. Looked like Judgment Kill may have did it. We knew they had Thermogenic Beam and Get Excited left. What did they what did they discard at this Get Excited? Doesn't even say what they discarded. So if you counter it, you don't even you don't get to know what they discarded. That's not cool. All right, five and zero. Oh. It flashes up on the screen, like, whatever they discard, like, when they discard. So you have to be, like, paying close attention, and, and you can see it. But that's it. GG's, what a game. What a game. Finish off our 5-0 and standalone midrange. This, this deck is good. Um, but, yeah, not much room for error. You gotta, you gotta really be uh, focused, really be um, paying attention. Uh as we've talked about during that game, if I, I think we're you know, I almost lost that, but if I would have cast this Relentless Pursuit on turn eight, I think we would have won a lot easier. Um, but I didn't, and then we had that really hard fought game afterwards. <clears throat> Scuttler was discarded to summon a 1 1. Scrap bot. Is that a, is that a card? Okay, but yeah, so they discard some some weird thing. Um, but yeah, like so. However, as long you know, if you want to play a you know a a thinking deck, um, 
you know, be like a tactician, this deck is for you. It's, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have much room for error, but, um, but it's really, really powerful and uh, it's really hard to stop. And if you play your cards right, uh, you're going to be picking up a lot of wins with this deck. But then you also just have some, some games like where you just have like a nuts hand that just annihilates your opponent, you know, like where you have, uh, you know, like Zed and then stand alone it. And then you just uh, have like a relentless pursuit also. And you just attack a bunch with your Zed and you just, your opponent can't answer. So, you know, you have like some of those kind of games that you just steamroll. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got a 5-0 to kick off the stream today. It's not even Friday yet. It's Thursday. It's not even 5-0 Friday. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave a comment. You know, do, do both of those over on YouTube. And uh, you know, like if you've been playing this deck, let me know how it's been going for you. And if you want to see your deck on stream, it's just a $10 donation, 10 bucks for donation decks. Uh, the link is in the video description. And you just um, put your deck code or your deck idea of whatever deck you want me to make in the uh, donation. All right, but thank you so much for watching some standalone mid-range, and I'll see you for the next video.